The Jiko Safi Jatropha stove utilizes the principle of gasification for a low emissions and highly efficient cooking source. The first step is to measure the pieces that are to be cut. Here we see the fabricators measuring both the top and the bottom plates. The metal sheets are then cut to the appropriate width and length. Now the lower plate is marked for where the holes are to be drilled. A punch is then used to keep the drill bit on the mark. Now the holes are drilled in the bottom plate. A large hole is drilled to accommodate the central air shaft. Now the diameter of the outer holes is increased. And finally, the bottom plate is cut into a circle. The Jiko Safi stove has three main cylinders. The outer cylinder, which has no air holes, the middle cylinder, which has a few air holes, and the central cylinder, which has many air holes. We are now fabricating the middle cylinder, which has a few air holes. The plate is marked appropriately and then cut. Now a template is placed on the sheet and marked for the placement of the appropriate holes. Again, a punch is used so that the drill bit does not slip. Now the upper and lower holes are drilled into the plate, which will be formed into the middle cylinder. Now the central shaft is marked for where the holes are to be drilled. Once again, a punch is used to keep the drill on the mark. Then the numerous holes are drilled into the plate, which will be formed into the central cylinder.
Now the upper plate of the stove is cut. The upper plate is now hammered to entail a flange. And like the lower plate, it is cut into a circle. Here you get a cutaway glimpse of what the inside of the stove looks like. Now the outer, middle, and central plates are rolled into cylinders. Here we see the further fabrication of the central air shaft. Now let's take a look at the construction method for the upper portion of the stove. Thin galvanized sheeting is used with specific cuts and folds. No rivets are used whatsoever within the upper portion of the stove except for where the chimney is attached. Now the craftsman is folding the center portion of the box. Now a lip is being formed around the entire center of the box in which the top and the bottom plates will be attached. The upper and lower pieces of the top portion of the stove are now bent to adhere to the center portion of the box.
These custom arms were made for the finishing of the top portion of the stove. Now two holes are made in the upper portion of the stove, one for the pot to sit and another hole in which the lower portion of the stove will be attached to provide the heat. The final step is attaching the chimney mount into the box. This is the only piece in which rivets are used. These small brackets are for the pot to sit on.